I'll have to do it all over again. Pigs. Out Caesar, out Nolus, Emperor of the world.
happy hour program. Make your work a pleasure. Move with the rhythm of music. Our next selection, Brahms Hungarian Dance Number 5.
Anna, did you hear that? Listen.
I'm sorry, but I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, 
Tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel? Who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder? Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate. The unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery. Fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason. A world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! Can you hear me? Wherever you are, look up, Hannah. The clouds are lifting. The sun is breaking through. We are coming out of the darkness into the light. We are coming into a new world, a kindlier world, where men will rise above their hate, their greed and brutality. Look up, Hannah. The soul of man has been given wings. And at last he is beginning to fly. He is flying into the rainbow, into the light of hope, into the future, the glorious future that belongs to you, to me, and to all of us. Look up, Hannah. Look up. Do you believe in God? Well... I do. But if there wasn't one, would you live any different? I wouldn't. Life could be wonderful if people would leave you alone. Things are looking brighter now. Maybe you're the reason saving Commander Schultz's life. Funny how they've left us alone lately. Seems too good to be true. Do you have a daydream? I do. That's the only time I'm really happy, dreaming. Sometimes I get so carried away, I don't know what I'm doing. Aren't you like that? Do you know we're very much alike? Are we? Yeah, we're both absent-minded. Do you think so? Yes. <laughs> I like absent-minded people. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Do you know the story about the man that put his watch in boiling water and held the egg in his hand? No. <laughs> <laughs> they say all great men are absent-minded. It's a sign you're smart. <laughs> My folks didn't think so. Of course, there's an excuse for you. You're injured in the war. <laughs> I was born that way. Hilfensekt, der Wiener Schnitzel mit der Lage werden und das Saukraut. Ey, der Flutensack der Flappen, ein Tomania wie sein Straff, ein der Blitzensack der Klütz. Ey, ich bleibe noch straff mit der Ach. Ballone. Ballone, 
Wenn sein Stütz mit seinen Elfen sich da üben, ein der Stoff mit seiner Klatsch, ein der Stratz mit seinen Gedanken da, mit seiner Tratsch mit seinen Gedanken, meine alle Täter wieder straffen, die straffen, sie straffen! <lacht> Lloyd Hinkler has just said yesterday Tumania was down, but today she has risen. Democracy stunk. Democracy is fragrant. Liberty stunk. Liberty is odious. Free Sprechen stunk. Freedom of speech is objectionable. Tomenia with the Kurutsa army in the belt. Tomenia has the greatest army in the world. The Kurutsa navy in the belt. The greatest navy in the world. We say now to Kurutsa, alles und einer to sacrifice. But to remain great, we must sacrifice. Aye, alles und einer strotten tighten the belt. We must tighten our belts. Heil Hinkel. Ist man der Fürsten? Ah, Herring. Puppchen, Herring. Bismarck, Herring. The Fui now speaks to Field Marshal Herring, the Minister of War. Wir sind Ölten, sagt der Pilaten. Ah, von der Harten, sagt der Elder Hütz. Ein Herring. Ein Garbage. Herr Garbage, wenn Sie die Ölten sagen. He is now addressing Herr Garbage, Minister of the Interior. Herring und Herr Garbage. Ah, Herring schütten smelten fein from Garbage und Garbage schütten smelten fein from Herring. Herring und Garbage. His Excellency recalls the struggles of his early days shared by his two loyal comrades. Der Sülp und der Stretz. Hell die Flüten sagt der Klüten, Sülp der Weiner Hütten. Ein der Stütz mit seiner Klüten sagt der Flirten. Einzig stritten sind, einzig stritten sind, einzig stritten sind, und der Alte... Genau, sie will stritten mit seinen Helden, sagt. Ah, und die Herren, und die Herren Mäden. Ah, die Herren Mäden. Die Delikatessen mit den Schönen, und die Flexen mit den Stresses. Ah, und der Ulstein mit der Muss. Ah, der Muss. But the kinder Katzen Jammer. The Katzen Jammer mit der Uten Sekta Hitten, Fetten, Hutten, Feiten, Dotten, Hutten Sekt. Hey, soldiers for Hinkle! <laughs> mit der Schuten. Und der Leberfust mit der Schuten. Ey, der Flutzen sagt Alter mit der Schuten. Ey, der Flutzen sagt Erklärten. Und der Strengelächeln mit der Hulten sagt Erklärten. Und der Blätzen sagt Alten. Besick, besack. Der Schuten. Und der Schuten. His Excellency has just referred to the Jewish people. Und na, straff mit seinen Hütten, sagt der Flirt. Der Flirten wird der Hütten, sagt der Hirten. Und straff mit seinen Trotz, Trotz. Eine Flirten, der Herr Trotz, einer nach Europa. Blitzkrieg, Fratsch, Fratz mit seinen Katerten. Ein Feinholz, straff mit seinen und den Franz. Und mein Holzheim trefft mit seiner Finnland und mein Holzheim trefft mit seiner Rutsche, weil es kreist der Meile. Hey, hey, der Flutzen, mit der Hälfte, der Streff, hey, der stinkt einer Stunken, der Stunken mit der Hürup, ein Stunken mit der Höll, hey, ein Sidol der Grotzes mit seiner Tomea. In conclusion, the Fui remarks that for the rest of the world he has nothing but peace in his heart. Meine Hunde, das ölzende Tier ist mein Fusken. Löst der Frasen, der Feind Eisen, 
Das erfüllt mit Hans Strauß mein Totem. Ja, mit meiner Biotolle, vielen davon das Rasse, das Tolle der Person ist mein Hotter Tanzbar. Mit Heiler Prasni, Heiler Pfanne, alle Kassa und der Hauptleistung der Diskontunia, das geht in der Pressonomia. Ist man auf uns ein Jahr des Kultenmittels und von der ersten Skala, Ille Pira, Stilo, ein mächtiges Duft von Tiab. Qu'elle soit brune, qu'elle soit blonde, je le je rêve les nuits les jours, et je n'ai qu'un désir au monde, c'est de les aimer toujours. Somerset Maugham, in a book of his, once devoted part of a chapter, or maybe it was a whole chapter, to actors. He said that he liked them very much, that he always found them amusing, interesting, most generous, kindly, amusing people that he could think of. He'd rather be in their company than any other uh, particular professional people that he could think of. But the trouble was that he was never able to reconcile himself to the fact that they were human beings. He quoted an authority on this. He said that some gentleman of some years back had once said that it was no wonder that for so many years the members of the theatrical profession were denied burial in consecrated ground because it was preposterous to suppose that they had souls. Mr. Maugham goes on to assure us that that must have been an extravagance. We know tonight, with one outstanding exception, that it is and that it was an exception. Because there is a man now who I have the greatest possible privilege to introduce to you, whose appearance before us has always symbolized in the films humanity at large, its humor, its fun, its tragedy, its pathos, its sympathy, its love, all of humanity. He is a man without nationality whatsoever. He belongs to the world, he always has, and he always will. With great humility and with great pride that I belong to the same profession that he does, and that I've known him since I was a little boy, <coughs> I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to be able to present to you Charlie Chaplin. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to take up your time. I want to give you the last speech of the great dictator. The story is of a little Jewish barber who is mistaken for the great dictator. He's addressing the soldiers and has just been referred to as the emperor of the world. The speech follows. I'm sorry. But I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. 
We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone. And the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The airplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think and what to feel, who grill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines, you are not cattle, you are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, only, only the, the unloved hate. The unloved and the unnatural. Pardon me, I'll have to have some water. I'm, my voice is very dry. Is there such a thing as a glass of water? <laughs> Mr. Chaplin pauses for a moment as he gives this last speech from the great dictator and turns and requests some water. You can see that under the hot lights, the presentation is something of a strain, and now he is waiting for the glass of water to come up. The audience has begun to applaud. The applause rises, and Mr. Fairbanks brings Mr. Chaplin a glass of water. He takes Thank a sip and returns now to the microphones. The applause rises Pardon. again. Mr. Chaplin says, Thank you. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes, men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery. Fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man. Not one man nor a group of men, but in all men. In you, you the people have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You the people have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world. A decent world. That will give men a chance to work. That will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power. But they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to free the world, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. I thank you. As Mr. Chaplin concludes his presentation of the last speech made in his great picture, the great dictator, the audience, as one, begins to applaud, and Mr. Chaplin is forced to return again to the stage and bows to Mrs. Roosevelt in her box on the right and then to the audience in front of him and to the boxes on the left. The applause, as you can hear, is still as intense as it was when Mr. Chaplin concluded his presentation and it does not look as though it's going to relax to any degree. Mr. Chaplin comes back to the stage again, bows to Mrs. Roosevelt, bows again to the audience, and then returns to the side of the stage and goes out through the door. 
as he comes back onto the stage again. There is a renewed burst of out of applause, and Mr. Chapman has made his way to the center of the stage and bows to the audience, says thank you very quietly, inaudibly, but the audience can see his lips move, and he turns again and walks to the back of the stage and makes his way out to the door and to the side of the proscenium and leaves the theater. And now, Mr. Fairbanks. Mr. Chaplin, Mr. Chaplin has put into words the message not only of this country, something we all know besides the message of our president and now the message of the free world. And for that, we are deeply grateful to him.